Hi there, my name is Tom and I'm a member of the Data School's 27th cohort at the Information Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to declutter a dashboard in Tableau. This will help you design cleaner dashboards that can make it easier for a user to navigate through your charts and uncover key insights quicker. So let's jump straight into Tableau and get started. Here we have the dashboard that we're going to be redesigning today. Now it's not bad, but there's a lot we can do to improve it. Next we have the dashboard we're aiming for which looks a lot neater and hopefully more intuitive. Now there's already some good interactivity in the original with a metric parameter available that switches the view between sales, profit, and also orders. So for this demo, I'm just going to be running through what could be improved in terms of design. So what's wrong with our original dashboard? The dark blue band at the top is quite harsh on the eye and doesn't look great with the KPIs that lie below. There's not much white space on the dashboard, which makes everything feel quite bunched together and therefore busy. The bars in our segment chart aren't the same size as the rest. And also, the bars here don't start in line with what falls below. So the first thing we're going to do here is jump into our dashboard and remove this dark blue banding at the top. So I'm going to select this container, go to my layout pane, remove the background. I'm going to do this for the container that lies below as well. Next, I'm going to change the color of our title just so we can see it. Now I'm going to format the full dashboard background to a muted grey so the whole thing is easier on the eye. To do that I'm going to go to Format, click Dashboard and use the drop down to select the second grey from the top. Now let's change the background colour of our KPIs. So as we've got orders in the view, let's select this container head to our layout pane and change the background to purple. Let's reduce the opacity to 20% and also put a purple border on this container. Next let's change to profit, select the container, change the background to pink, reduce the opacity again to 20% and again put on the border. Finally, let's look at our sales, highlight this container, make the background green, reduce the opacity one last time, and put on a border. Now I'll include the color hex codes in this video's description as well, but already what we're starting to see is a dashboard that looks a lot cleaner. Next, what we're going to focus on are the bar graphs we have in the bottom half of this dashboard. And the first thing we're going to do is select this entire container and distribute the contents evenly. Next, we're going to focus on one individual worksheet. So let's select this bar chart on the left here and we're going to add some padding. So firstly, I'm going to add some outer padding and make this 10. I'm also going to add some inner padding, make this 10 as well. And I'm going to slightly dull down the border on here to a lighter gray. Now, once you have done that for each of the remaining four bar charts, what you're going to have is a dashboard that looks something like this. Next what we're going to do is look at the bar sizes and their starting positions. So in this segment section we can see that the bars are too big and what we need to do here is change the worksheet fit to standard. Lastly I'm just going to line up the start of the bars simply by dragging the axes more or less to the same point uh, to the bars that lie beneath. I'm going to do the same to the worksheet on the right here as well, just so there's a bit more consistency in terms of the bar charts across the dashboard. 
The final pointer is to make the dashboard title and parameter action a bit more intuitive. So let's double click on our title and I'm just going to add in a colon and we can use the insert drop down here to add in our metric parameter and I'm going to follow that with dashboard and hit OK. So what that does is when the user selects a different metric for example profit it will update the title of the dashboard accordingly. Now lastly what I'm going to do is just update this instruction to the user uh, just to make it a little bit more intuitive as well. So I'm going to put in select a metric and hit OK. Great, so to wrap up, now we have a dashboard that looks a lot cleaner, is easier on the eye and is easier for the user to understand with the KPIs now color coded to match the bars. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you now feel more confident in cleaning up any dashboards you may have. Please check the description of this video for links to additional materials that you might find useful. And if you enjoyed this video, I think you'd really enjoy the related how-to video we've suggested by one of my fellow data schoolers. Click on the thumbnail on the bottom right to watch it next. And do subscribe to this channel to get notified when we release new videos.